We always get into trouble. Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> but to have two players from the same class yes. to play international football and Premier League football is remarkable. You know, when you're young, you don't, you don't care about to be professional. You just want to play. What are you talking about? Man, that's in the true. Premier League. We fought at Stamford Bridge. Right, we're going to agree to disagree on that one because I don't even know if we are disagreeing. I was lucky, so God gave me a, a chance to, um, to see and I have to, to, come, to go. Don't complain and just go, you know. Johan Visser tucks it away. Absolutely terrific from Johan Visser. And Brentford do have an equaliser. Johan Visser makes it 1-1. Johan, thanks for your time, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is your journey, so <laughs> let's start at the beginning mm -hmm. and kind of tell us where you grew up, uh, a suburb just south of Paris, right? Yes, yes. I grew up in um, a small town, my name is the Epine Susana. I got like three brothers, uh, my mother and daddy. Yeah. So it was a good town because I grew up like, I was still going there like when I got a chance to go because my family is still there. So, so oh, it's wow. good. So, your three brothers, where do you sit? Are you youngest, oldest? Uh, I got two oldest brothers and one, uh, one youngest. So, I'm a bit between. Yeah. A bit between and uh, I'm the favourite one. You're the favourite <laughs> 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 And are you like you? No. And are no. you crazy like no, you? <laughs> no, no, no. no are, are you not. the loudest? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I, th I think, I think, but uh, it's more funny to be with me than not someone else. <laughs> <laughs> did you like having three brothers? That must have been quite a boisterous household. And how did your mum and dad keep you all keep you all uh, busy and quiet? I guess as well. No, it's okay because my um, the, my two oldest brothers they have just two years between them. Right. So for with me and my yeah, my oldest brother is six years and the oldest is eight years. So and my youngest is six years. So. So they find the right balance, I think, <laughs> because it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> only, only boys, especially, so... Are you always get into trouble? Yes, always. always. <laughs> <laughs> Who got in the most trouble? No, honestly, you? no. It was okay. Me, I was very calm. <laughs> so, honestly, to, yeah. be, to be fair, I was only very... My mother st always say, I got any trouble with you. Your younger brother is a player as well, right? Yes, he's playing. So he's he playing. plays for Lyon? Yes, he's playing for Lyon now. Oh, wow. So... It's professional. Did well. you used to like teach him and, and to kind of take him under your wing growing up? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, I have to. I yeah. have to. But the, the thing is, it was always better than me, so I, would, I don't want to play with him. No, because I don't. <laughs> you, you always put yourself down, mate. You're no. always playing it down. No, that's. Mate, that, you're, you're playing in the Premier League. That, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> in the same age, he got more quality than me. So, but the thing is because he likes football. I yeah. think, yes. Since he's young, he starts to watch YouTube, Neymar, etc. So, you know, other trick than, I, I, I don't know. So, so he was always just football, football, football. Yes, were you yes. a little bit different then? To yes, that? yes. I was very different. Just yeah. I wanted to go outside, just chill with my friend, play football outside. I mean, when, I, when, I, was, when I, I come back home, just like watch TV, you know, yeah. watch movie. And so it's very really different. And am I right in, you, you met someone that you, at the time, didn't realise this, but we'd go on to have an amazing football career as yes, well true. at school. And it's a uh, Tangai and, and Dumbele as yes, well. Yes, yes. So when did you meet him? Uh, since um, when I was uh, eight years old, we started to be um, in the same team. Right. You know, so we're still playing 18, eight uh, to 14. We play, and uh, in, as well we are we were in the same school, in the same right. school when uh, we are 12 years old. So he's a very good friend of mine. And so you in the same classes and everything? Yeah, same class. Yeah, one year we, we, we were in the same class. It was <laughs> oh, I don't want a that. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare. Hope so. you get into trouble. But Honestly, yes, because um, my father, because uh, I used to play for Epines Center, my town. Yeah. But uh, in 14, I used to, you know, play like 30 minutes away from my home. Yeah. So my father said, okay, I will let you know. I will let you go to um, to this to the, the new club, it's the big club. And, uh, but if in school you're bad, it's after done. six months, you're done. And after six months, he said, no football for you now anymore. You were, yes. You yes, yes. And was Tangai misbehaving as well? No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He but, was all right. Yes, he was all right. But, but my, my father said, stop the school because if you're going too far from home, 
so you lose your mind for the school, so that's okay. And from How did you react to that? Were you annoyed? Because did you just want to go and play football? No, I was okay. I was yeah. okay. Because honestly, when um, when I was young, my father, I don't know, sometimes he said, this time you don't go to, you don't go to football. I said, whoa, <laughs> just, I got a tournament now. He said, no, you don't go in today. Just because he was worried about my school. He just wanted me to, you know, to be, to stu to be a, a good at school, study and that's it. And if you're good on football, okay. But the first, first thing for him, it was just school, school, school. Well, and you, were, and you reacted all right to that, you were? Okay, I was okay, honestly. Yeah. I didn't trouble him because he got, he got this stuff and he just wanted me to be, you know, I got my, you know, my, my diploma or something like that. You know? Yeah, and at the same time, it's not just football you're playing. Yeah. You're playing rugby as well. Yeah, it's rugby. When I start, um, I start at 12 years old. Oh wow. Yes, yeah, 12 years old until um, 17. 17. What position yeah. are you playing? Uh, on the side. On the winger. Wing. Yes, winger. Just, just, just running face. And you had the easy job. They just throw <laughs> the ball to you and then you that's do the true. end. That's true, that's when true. When I played, I was in the front row. <laughs> right, I was getting hit every week. No, honestly, it was very good. Did you I, love it? Oh, I love it. I love it. I still love it. And honestly, it was one of the best time in my, in my life. Because it's just with the school. And that's okay because I used to manage full football school and f and, um, and rugby so i used to keep my my head in the, in the, in the sport of going yeah. going crazy and just fun you know and at this point are you going i'm going to be either a professional footballer or a professional rugby player at some point yes you, i have always wanted that uh but yes but the thing is you know when you're young you don't you don't care about to be professional you just want to play yeah. and uh, in the way you have to choose um between uh, to rugby and and uh, football, and my father say, no, choose the football, and where you are. So, so growing up with, because it is a remarkable story, right? Like, where I'm from, one lad from our school played League One, League Two, mm. and it was incredible, like everyone, but to have two players from the same class yeah, yeah. to play international football and Premier League football is remarkable. So when you were growing up, did the two of you never discuss, oh, one day me and you will be playing in the Premier League and all this? No, we never, we never, we never. We grew up in the city or we are like maybe five professional and uh, we grew up with them, yes. like um, with the uh, icon. But the thing is, we never, we never spoke about this because me, I don't want it to be football professional. So I just wanted... So what did you, so what did you want? I don't know, someone else. Yeah. Not be a professional because when I was young, I didn't believe to be there. So, yeah. because I was not good enough for me, in my point. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Why did you say, you must have been pretty handy. No, 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 no. I was like maybe five division under, before I left to Chateau. So, I didn't believe to be here. So, at this point you just thought, keep playing at a, at yeah, a, just, at a high standard, it's enjoy not, it's, it. No, it's not high standard. That is a high standard, Johan. No! <laughs> you're still playing, you're, what, what, you're probably getting paid a little bit of money? To, no, to, no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, but it's still better than Sunday League football, right? So you yes. must have known I'm pretty good. Yes, yes, but it's my division. It's like maybe a five, four, four or five division under. So I didn't believe to be, uh, because at this age, you have to be in the top to go to the, like yeah. the big club in, uh, you know? So what age is this? So you said this is like 15? Yes, uh, 15, just before to go Chateau. Because so then what changed I, then? Someone came to my house and say, uh, I know, uh, I know someone uh, who is to be a uh, director of Chateau, and he said, uh, you can go because I know you're good, so let's go. See, no, you're good. <laughs> yes, See, but, you said it. Then. <laughs> I know you're good. Yes, but the <laughs> thing is, I used to be, uh, you know, in, f in low division, so I, I I went there and I did well, and after I saw, and after now I start, oh, why not? And now. Yeah. So that, that's when it started to change. Yes, for you. yes. Now in my mind, everything changed. And everything. then you're like, I'm now I'm going to be a pro. Yes, yes. I want to be a pro and going to the best, best league in the world. Why not? Um, you know, represent my country. So that's crazy for me. Amazing. So then, see, so you joined Chateau. Then you had a few other clubs in between before you went to Lorient. And is, would you say Lorient is where it really like took off even even more for you? Or was it a move before? I went to Chateau. After this, I signed my first contract at Angers. Yep. Yes. After um, after six months, I went to a loan to uh, Laval, and after uh, I went another loan uh, from to to uh, Ajaccio. In January, I signed my uh, a new contract uh, at Lorient. It was in League Two, and I stayed there. And I knew I knew um, Lorient would be uh, the step. 
you know. Yeah. The, because Lorient is a good club in France, so it was in League Two, but they're still um, a good club. And uh, I said, I know they will, if I if I did well, it will be a, a big step. So I stayed there. Uh, the first six months was okay. The 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 year after was okay, and after we we go in um, in. Uh, we get promoted, so it was perfect. Because you scored loads of goals when you got promoted, then you yes. scored loads of goals yeah. in that year up there. And you had a good team there, people like Chalaba, Trevor yeah, Chalaba. Yeah, Chalaba, yes, yes. It was good because uh, when he came, uh, I started learning to talk in English. So I just prepared myself to go to the Premier League. Trevor, I need you because I want to go to the Premier League <laughs> yes, soon. Yes. I did everything to go to the Premier League. So, um, and it was good because uh, he's a good guy and uh, it's good for me because he got the same age and... So would you ask him about the Premier League and did you help... What was your English like at this point? Could you speak English? Uh, yes, yes. I, I can't say I speak English, but... Uh, we speak well in English now. Yes, yeah. now it's okay. Now it's okay. But very good. Stop <laughs> everything you do, you put yourself down. No, because it's true. I'm not the best in English. You're very, very good at English. Yes. And you're Thank very, you very good at football. I'm not very, very good in football as well. What are you talking about? But that's the true. Premier League. You scored at Stamford <laughs> Bridge. Yes. That's you scored against Liverpool. You've scored, you've that, played that's, international that's, football. That's that, very good. That's true. That's true. But I'm not, uh, I'm not, for me, I'm not good enough. What? But I can do better. Like everyone. You've lived so many people's dreams. Yes. That, 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 that's a fact. So what, what do you, what do you suggest, what is very good then to you? I don't know, but the thing is, I, I know I live the, I, I, I still live in my dream, but I can't say I'm the best, you know. So if I want to be the best, I have to work hard, yeah. even even better than what I'm doing now. I can't say uh, for me it's uh, it's very bad what I'm doing. No, it's not. I, I will not. I, I'm I'm just I'm just saying. I want to be better, better. than yes than. That's I am. good. I get that's attitude you know? that you just want to keep improving and keep bettering yes. yourself. Um, how did you find it? Watch out! There's a massive puddle coming up. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find it when you first moved away from your family? Because obviously you're saying that you've got a tight family unit with your mum and dad and your three uh, brothers. So it was so good. So good. So I good. Saying, <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, because honestly. I told you, I didn't believe it to be a football <laughs> professional. And when something came to you like this, and you just like, oh, that's good. <laughs> Maybe I will be a football professional. So well, yeah, I just left them and I said, see you later. See you, uh, yeah, see you in a few years. <laughs> see you in a few months. <laughs> and uh, hopefully um, it will be an uh, joy to, to come watch my game and et cetera. Because it, was, it wasn't so far. It wasn't so far. It was, yeah. Maybe two hours a car, right? And one hour from the top of the train. So. But what about now? Do they come over to see games and stuff? Like every week. But they travel over. Every week. Oh, that's amazing. Every week, every week. When they get the time, especially my uh, my brothers. Yeah. So um, especially when they got like maybe two minutes, they're coming. Oh, every wow. game they're coming, and uh, though so it's helpful. It's helpful. Yeah. Even my my wife, my. My wife, family, they come, you know, my brother, my friends come. Yeah. Yes. And I want to talk about, there was obviously an incident that happened just before you joined Brentford and mm. we, we can't go into a lot of detail about it because obviously there's a court case and mm. stuff, but what we can say is obviously there, there was an acid attack on yourself and mm. I guess first of all, how did that affect you physically and mentally that must have been a pretty distressing time? Uh, physically it was a bit hard because it got my face, my eyes. So at this point, um, it was discussion between me and my agent and the club. So I wanted to, normally I have to come here earlier. So yeah. this is why I came late. So um, the thing is um, physically, I just wanted to work very well. Yeah. And mentally it was okay because um, it just happened to me, not yeah. to my family. So it was okay. Yeah, but that's a lot for you to shoulder and you to take on. You're saying, oh, it, it was just on me, but mentally it must have been quite a lot. No, honestly, I was happy. When, when the thing has happened to me, I was like, thanks God, because it happened only to me, not to my family, not to my kids. Yeah. So I have to hold it in my, in my, in my heart and my head and say, oh, okay, let's go. Because it didn't affect your family, it didn't affect my, just me. So I know my, my family will be, you know, hurt because it's, it's tough. It's tough, but uh, 
it was it happened just to me, so I need to hold it and. Did you? Make it. Was there any knock-on effect for you? Because it's quite a, a, a quite a traumatic incident that that happened. So did long term was there any kind of flashbacks or anything like that, or did, did, did it keep reminding you of it at all? No, 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 no. I know something something will change because we change our mind, you change everything, but. It's not like a flashback. It was happened just, you know, the first two weeks. Yeah. The first two weeks was very tough, but it's still coming back. And to be to be fair, it's still it's still coming back. So. Oh really? Yes, but you know, in, we need to to fix it in the, in the core. So it, it, I can't say everything about it, but uh, you know, it's just going and going back to going. Did you ever worry that it would cost you your move to the Premier League and to Brentford? Yes. You did. Yes, you did. See, that must be hard, because again, you're playing this down, but you, you, you've spoken there about, you, you realised that you were very good at football, <laughs> <laughs> and there's this amazing opportunity to go to the Premier League, and then something like this happens. You're, you're very calm about it when, when you speak about mm. it, but there's a lot there to process at a very quick time. So how did you find that, and who were you speaking to to help get you through it, I guess? Uh, my agent. I joke, I talk with my agent, with my family. Um, as I told you, if, um, because nothing happened to my family. So I was worried about my movement to be here, to be fair, but uh, I was like, if it didn't touch my family, it didn't touch um, my wife, my kids. So I say, if I have to um, hug out my boots, okay, that's, that's okay. Because the life going on, my, my kids are okay, my wife is okay, my family is okay, just me. So and after um, one week, two weeks, I find I can okay, I can still uh, play in football. So it was a good news. And now I say okay, I will do everything to go to coming here. So and I try everything and just to show to um, to the club I can you know I can see. But yep. just the beginning, I just have to take the gloves, uh, the gloves, the um, glasses. sunglasses, and uh, because there was worry about it because. Uh, how long I have to take the, the, the sunglasses, etc. But it's a lot of process. But um, after after some weeks, it was okay. Do you think it's made you even more determined now to succeed, succeed and, and and achieve? Because obviously, some people when that happens to them, maybe it, it can be worse for them, and, and maybe longer term damage and, and God forbid, even worse things happen. So, do you think that drives you on it at all? Yes, in, in yes, you do? yes, 100%, 100%. Yeah. Because I know I was lucky. So God gave me a, a chance to um, to see, and I have to to come to go. Don't complain and just go. You know, don't think about it. So then you did make the move over here, and how did you find it at the start? Because you became a fan's favourite instantly. <laughs> oh come on! See again, you play yourself down <laughs> all the time. <laughs> every, every no, but that's good. That's good. No, it's I'm amazing. We love you and yeah, me too. <laughs> how, how did you find it initially? Because again, you've spoken about moving away from your family in France, but this is a completely different lifestyle different. change. And how did you find it settling in? And how did your family find it? I guess very good because honestly, I wanted to go uh, to come here. Yeah, I wanted to come here too because uh, once uh, I talked with the club uh, from a year before and the Premier League, I used to watch every time. So. It was good. It was very good. But when you swap the friends to um, England, so the the life changing, the um, the language changing, everything changing. Uh, if I was just me and my and my wife, it was okay. But now you bring your kids, so your kids have to fix it and find a new routine. So how did they find it? Because it's, it's I'd find it hard moving to another country at my age. Mm. I think for a young child, it, it can be a lot. So how did how did they find it? Uh, from the beginning, it was tough. The first month was tough for them. Yeah. Uh, they didn't sleep well. Uh, we found uh, a school for my kids. Um, the first one was very hard, very hard, uh, because uh, he didn't eat there. So when uh, he went there, uh, I came, I came to pick him up, and he just like. That yeah, I, I'm angry because he didn't eat. Uh, so I give him food, give him food, it just throw him down, just throw, throw. So the first two weeks was very tough. So we changed the school, and after it was, um, it was much, much, much better. That must be hard for you because, again, you've you've moved your family unit over here, and you've put a lot of trust in them. Yeah. To, uh, or they've put a lot of trust in you that you're making the right decisions. Yes. So 
that's hard when you're. I know you said you had English, so you had a bit, but you're, you're learning more of the language, yeah. more of the culture. You also got to hit the ground running, <laughs> football wise. So, so that must be tough when you when you you've got a lot of things again on your mind because you want to make sure that first and foremost your family are all mm. right. I didn't know any of this was happening, and to see how you hit the ground running at the time, I think, is even more admirable. How did you find it then on the pitch at the start when you first came over? Did, did was that in the back of your mind ever? What's going on with your family and stuff? Uh, it was okay because um, they love me when I, I'm doing what I want. You know, they love to watch football when I'm playing. They love football as well. So um, when uh, the, the weekend came, just my family came as well. The, um, my daddy, um, you know, I got like a lot, lot of nieces and nephews, so they come and they ju we, didn't, we just think about, about everything else. So, yeah. And I, I have to find my right balance as well, because I have new, uh, new, uh, new friends, new, uh, new, new teammates, so the right balance between when you come back home and when you're going uh, to the job, so um, it was tough, but we just we just doing our job, so um, it was yeah. it was good to find to find um, the the stage home, the fans. So when I was here, I, I was like nothing in my head and just going on. Do you think that relationship with the fans early helps you through that period as well? Then I guess very good. Of yeah. course, it helped me. Of course, it helped my family. So this is why I say it's the right decision. Everyone says straight away it's the right decision because uh, straight when you came in, I show I, everyone show they love me. So. Everyone liked this, so yeah. it helped me. And during this period as well, you'd not long before you joined, made your debut for Democratic Republic of Congo as well. And obviously, being growing up in France, where did that come from? Which side of the family is is that from? And and what made you make that decision that you wanted to represent them? My mother and my my dad used to um, to uh, born in there, yeah. so they came in like maybe 25, 20, 20 years old. So this is why. I, can, I grew up with, with this as well, yeah. so um, I made this decision because um, the, last, the last coach called me and he asked me if I wanted to go, I said yes, straight away. Had you been there before? You yes, yes, you had. yes. So, so you yes. had an attachment to the yes, country yes, yes, and, yes. and stuff like that? I used to go with my, um, all my family when I was like maybe 15 years old. We stayed, about, we stayed there um, a month and uh, I, was, I used to like it. They're football crazy, aren't they? Over there? Yeah, it's very crazy. The fans are crazy. So when I'm going there, I'm like a newborn. Really? Fair. Newborn, um, fresh. So I know I have to give them everything because is it? it's different. Yeah, it, 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 I've seen it. It's kind of Wissomania as well when you're out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But they love me. I like them. Yeah. So it's a very good relationship between between me and them. So. Uh, you know, when you're on the pitch, you give everything for your fans because uh, they don't love me. They love uh, the the flag. Right, we're going to agree to disagree on that one. I don't <laughs> even know if we are disagreeing, but just take it. Fans love you and they love the club. They can love both. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, good. Good. Um, on to that. Like, how did you describe your, your time at Brentford so far? Uh, good and tough because it's tough. Premier League is always tough, um, but uh, I like when it's tough, you know. So we need to find, um, I need to find the right balance between, um, you know, when it's very good. And But um, the relationship between me and um, my teammates, the fans, helped me a lot, yeah. helped me a lot. Because uh, for me, it's di different shape, different things. So I need to um, to find the right balance. Do you think you as a player, you've learned a lot? And, and what do you feel you've got out of the time here? Um, pace. Yeah. Pace, yes. I yeah. think is the the main thing. I didn't have the the same pace. As what before. you think you got quicker? Is it, can you get quicker? Yes, I can. I can. Is, but it, uh, is it pace in different ways? Yes, yeah, pace in different ways. Like uh, I don't know how like powerful I, kind of. Yes, yes, yes. Powerful or you know, gym etc. So I didn't have this before I came here. Right, and is that working with the team and yes, kind of working, yes. was that a conscious decision that you they would? You'd yeah, do because that? you know when you change um, the how, um, the country, it didn't. It's not the same football, you know. Premier League is, is different football, you know. So I need to learn about this uh, every time, every day, and I need to keep it in my mind. So I, I, I so it, I can say I um, I work my mind as well because uh, every time I have to 
you know, keep going in my mind, keep going, keep going, keep going because it's hard for me. Really? Yes, it's hard, it's hard. Uh, so, so do you think about your performance a lot? Do you think about how you can improve a lot then? Yes, I think about how I can improve a lot. Yeah. Every time, every time. Is that watching time. clips back or watching other people and things like that? Yes, especially when I was teammate because it's the most important things. But I can, every week I watch a game, but uh, if I watch my teammate, it's more helpful for me, you know? If I watch football, it's not the same. But if I watch my teammate, because I, I want to help my teammate. So I, I watch a lot of... I thought Brian, like, I uh, just watch him a lot, you know? Just in training, how he's, how he's doing, how Ivan Stern, how um, Christian when he used to play, or Ericsson, or Mai, or Vitali play when he's turned, how Shandan give the ball, how Josh shoot, you know, everything. I watch everything. See, I wouldn't think that, but I guess it's important for you in your in your role. So. Yes, it's very important for me. It's very important because if I want to um, to play every time with them, I have to learn from them because they they are here for maybe five years, for some people four years, six years, Sergi seven years. So I I need to learn about this. You know, I just I didn't just come here and just do myself. No, I want to to be a professional. I want to help them, I want to play, so I need to find the right balance. So I used to watch them a lot of time. They didn't, they didn't know that I watched them. They didn't, they didn't know that you watched them? Just Brian, because I told him, because he's French. But uh, uh, I told him that, like, maybe uh, he was the first uh, interview with, we, uh, together. So I told him, yes, I used to watch him, just how he's going, when, when he's going uh, behind um, the line or behind, um, when he got the ball, how he's doing. How you know Ivan will turn, you know, something like that, and helpful for me. Is that again going back to you were saying you, when you were playing your, your ability down that you're always looking for that little edge and you're always looking. You you describe yourself as I'm just hard working before we started. You're yeah. not just hard working. I'm. I am. No, but you're also. I, I tell you what, hard work and intelligence gets intelligence gets you in some of the positions you get yourself in. Yes, that's, that's a fact. So is but, that your studying of the game, do you think? Yes, but I'm not talented. But that is talent. Because yeah. I wouldn't, if, I, if you threw me onto a football pitch, I guarantee I wouldn't stand in the same place as you stand. Yeah, but if, I put you, uh, if you put me in the, in the same thing as you, I, I, it would be the same. But the thing is... He said I'm not talented. <laughs> 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 yes, in the job, you're talented. <laughs> I saw it, you're talented. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, I always play football. Yeah. I know the drills, I know everything, but it's hard, you know, when you're talent, or when you are not talent. I know I'm not talent, but I work hard to be at the same level to the, the guy who used to be talented. So who do you think has got who's like natural talent that you've played with? Or, or is there players at the club that you go, you're just naturally talented? Tango Ndombele. Yeah. So what, when you were growing up, he just didn't need to work as hard as you? He just smash everyone, every, everyone. He just every game, just smash everyone. <laughs> uh, everyone knows. It's very good. Did Everyone that frustrate knows. you though? Are you like, no. are you happy for him? I, I'm happy for him. But you know, that would wipe, that'd wipe me up a bit. I'm no, like, because <laughs> I told you, I didn't want it to be a football player, football player, yeah. not a football person. I just wanted to enjoy my life and just, I don't know what I, what will happen if I wasn't a football person, but I am. Yeah. But I work hard to be at the same level as him. But it, it's not like I don't put myself in the law than him. No, I want to go in the same level even better than them, so I used to force my mind to go, just go forward. That, that's a fact, it's, it's, not, it's not to put myself like down and say I'm bad, no, it's not that. Just I need to work hard, watch, because this guy didn't watch like every player. Me, I watch every player, because I want to be uh, the same. Why I watch uh, Sergio Mane? Because I want to, be, to, to do the same as him, even better. I, I know, but he's a, he's a big guy, but why not? You know, just watch the guy and learn, and you can be uh, the same level than, than him. Well, mate, I think you're a hell of a talent. I love watching <laughs> you. I love that's, hanging around with you. I love the way you approach yeah, life. And, that's and all good. That. That, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But so this is why I work hard. Yeah. So some people like you say I'm talented. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks. Thank for your you time. very much, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.